Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to News on Drugs, my favorite series on the channel, where we take a look at some of my favorite stories from health and science from the past month and just make jokes about them. They're standalone episodes. This is episode four. So if you've not seen the others, check out this one and then feel free to check out the others afterwards. Let's get into it. News on Drugs, it's the News on Drugs. It's like the regular news, except there's no news and it's just jokes about science and drugs. Folic acid is going to be added to bread in the UK to prevent birth defects. So folate is an important B vitamin that's used in the development of the neural tubes to the spinal cord in unborn babies. It's an important development and this means that most bread in the UK will contain folic acid. So it's literally a matter of loaf or death. The government's advisory body weighed up both sides of the argument before making a decision because it's important to get the measurements right when making sourdough. If learning to make bread in lockdown was difficult, imagine how difficult it's now gonna be to try and make folic acid. Prime Minister Boris Johnson described it as a quick and simple win, which made people reconsider their decision because it's never great when Boris Johnson agrees with something. This is a real breakthrough for nutritional science. In fact, it's the best thing since... I'll get back to you on that one. A new COVID therapy is being developed from llamas. So we've gone from getting COVID from saliva and airborne particles to llamas who could literally spit on us. It's from a product of the llama called a nanobody, which is a smaller part of an antibody. But this sounds way too high tech for a llama. What's next? Are we gonna have koalas with bionic arms? Are we gonna have geese with AI? Are we gonna develop talking gorillas with blonde hair? Oh, oh wait. The nanobodies were developed from a llama called Fifi, as opposed to her cousin Fifa, who now plays for Manchester United. A flaw in the Medicare app that produces vaccination certificates means that they could be faked in less than 10 minutes. It's quite scary to think that the security of the vaccination certificates for the whole country has the same level of security as Ashley Madison. This is a very serious flaw, but will have no effect on 12 to 15 year olds who already are using their elder siblings vaccination certificates to pick up some vackies from the off-license. Could augmented reality help treat arachnophobia or fear of spiders? This new app allows a spider to be projected onto your arm and for you to be able to look at and interact with that spider. Trials have shown that it greatly reduces the severity of arachnophobia and also it's basically a real life version of Pokemon Go. Although great news for people with arachnophobia, it's terrible news for the publicity of the new Spider-Man film. Experts have already started developing apps for people with other phobias. So people with ophidilophobia will be shown snakes, People with acrophobia will be shown heights. People with xenophobia will be shown bins where they belong. From augmented reality, now to virtual reality. VR has been used in some hospitals to help treat patients with chronic disease, to take them away to a different place. Here we can see Valerie, who's been to the beaches in the Bahamas. She's visiting the bustling streets of Vietnam and also reliving that one night with Keith when she was 21 as you can see from that cheeky smile on her face. Imagine the future prospects of virtual reality. It's only gonna be a matter of time until we're all got VR goggles on, sat back, locked into our chairs, living out our normal lives in virtual reality. Until Neo comes and saves us all. Oh wait, that's the plot of The Matrix. The government say we're taking too many pills. The number of medications that people have has gone from 10 on average in 1966 to over 20 today. So that's quite a significant increase. In Manchester, these 10 medications include MDMA, crack cocaine and LSD. It's only a matter of time until we can develop a machine that can smush all of these tablets into one super tablet. But that's gonna make the film The Matrix even more confusing. If you take this red pill, oh no, the blue pill. Oh no, I've mixed the two pills together. On medications, experts have said that similar looking illegal drugs in the UK could contain completely different medications. A similar looking pill could give you a widely different reaction, much like the Baldwin brothers of the medication world. 
Of course, it's important to know what you're taking if you're popping pills, but can you imagine people complaining to their dealer about getting the wrong thing? Dear so-called funkademia, I was shocked last night popping a pill in your club to find that instead of riding the glittery bus to Wondertown, I did in fact have an anti-diabetic drug and now have better control over my blood sugar levels. I expect a full refund immediately. Yours sincerely, Michael Gove. Climate change protests on the motorway, the M25. So climate change activists camped on the motorway, halting traffic, producing a lot of static cars which were emitting greenhouse gases, ironically worsening climate change. But at least they got some great photos for the gram. Hashtag woke. In this article, in this image, what are the people in the back row doing? They're like, yeah, I want to protest, but I don't want to actually be hit by a car. So why don't you guys go at the front? We'll just sit at the back. The protesters were fighting for the government to insulate houses, which would have been a more effective protest if they'd not done it on a blazing hot day. Korean boy band BTS opened a UN debate about sustainable development. What on earth is going on here? Why does a UN debate need an opening act? That has to be the most dry and difficult opening act of all time. All the ladies in the house who think sustainable development should be a touchstone by which emerging economies are judged by say, hey oh. That one took ages to learn. I hope you appreciated it. Is sitting the new smoking? Not really, unless you're lighting up a cigarette while you're sitting. Do this trick at 50 and you could live to 100. Don't die. That's the trick. A professor said that people can be fat but fit and should be focusing their efforts on exercising rather than dieting. The professor said that healthy bodies came in all shapes and sizes and that this cycle called yo-yo dieting had significant health risks including heart disease and hitting someone in the eye with a yo-yo. Fat but fit, by the way, is the name of my Fat Boy Slim tribute act. The COVID treatment Ronna Prevere that was given to Donald Trump when he was ill is now gonna be rolled out in the NHS. Now this may seem alarming at first, but it's very different to a COVID treatment that was recommended by Donald Trump. It's like that tale of the two barbers, except one barber hates Mexicans and looks like an angry orange. Trump said of the treatment at the time, I feel great. I feel it's, it's so good, too good, perfect. Mm. I don't know why Trump turned into like a a sassy woman. Not really a great joke, but a nice reminder that we don't have to deal with this anymore. The blood crisis of the 80s was in the news recently. So in 1983, the government said that there was no proof that AIDS was linked to these blood transfusions and then proceeded to give all these people blood transfusions, which then gave them AIDS. That's like saying vaccines don't protect against COVID or that Donald Trump's hairdresser actually deserved his wage. On a serious note, this was a really tragic scandal that happened because especially for haemophiliacs who need a particular clotting factor in blood and so require regular transfusions, thousands of people died because of this infected blood as opposed to the Crips who were completely unaffected who won that turf war. NASA has selected a landing site for the rover's mission to Mars. So the rover is on a mission to Mars to find water that humans could drink, making it the first interplanetary unpaid intern. This project is the first step in the Artemis program that plans to send more women into space and also more people of color into space. It's one small step for mankind and one big step to annoy angry racists on Twitter. The leading scientists of the rover said, we've never seen anything like we're going to see when we land on the south pole of the moon which itself is quite a confusing statement. Another scientist probably backed him up by saying, we've not heard anything about what to listen for, but if you listen closely and what we've been hearing is anything to go by, we should hear something to listen to soon. And finally, space tourism could finally become a thing and it could be the new Malaga. Four space tourists known as the Inspiration4 have recently returned on a SpaceX expedition to space. Unfortunately though, they go all the way to space and still take selfies like my mum. Soon, space will become a tourist destination that all major airline carriers are gonna to fly to. Ryanair, reportedly, are gonna be selling tickets for only 15 pounds. But if you do want air to breathe in the cabin, that will be an optional extra of 1.5 million pounds. That's News on Drugs, episode four. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the other episodes, make sure to check them out. 
And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join the team. Take care and I'll see you next week.